Welcome back. This project I wanted to uh, remove some manual throws and replace them with tortoise switches. But I kind of explained that in the first part of the video, so let's uh, get right into that. Here's how it all started, <clears throat> was with this uh, section of layout, and I built that when I was up in Michigan. And then my wife informed me that we were going to move. The good part was is the new house would have a room that I could actually put all that in. And this side here is all done with tortoise switches for the turnouts. When I got to the new home, this section here was all installed. And I decided to use manual throws for the turnouts. So after now, after about uh, five years, I've just decided that I don't like the way that they work. I've had a couple of them that have failed on me. So I'm going to replace those with tortoise switches. So that's the project that we're going to do. Uh, the plan to try to do this project is uh, after removing the mechanical switch to uh, operate this throw bar, uh, I could mount the tortoise switch directly underneath uh, and come up through this hole that's here but by doing that I would have to rip up all this track and a little messy uh, don't want to do that so we looked at another way uh, we already have a present hole here where the um, electronic part of the mechanical throw uh, piece uh, went through here so <clears throat> I looked at mounting the tortoise switch directly underneath the hole and by using a piece of spring wire to come up through and going just over the top the um, we uh, can move this switch back and forth it only has to move about less than a quarter of an inch back and forth for that my inspector is here <coughs> with uh, the cat trying to approve of this project. <clears throat> to cover this hole up, uh, the uh, cork road bed is right at it, one eighth of an inch, and I've got some birch plywood. Uh, I'll cut a small section to go over that, and uh, I can just build the uh, landscape uh, scenery up around that area, and that'll cover the hole. So uh, let's see uh, how this project comes out and if it's going to work. This is uh, the manual throw that we're removing. Remove the wiring from the uh, lower part of the mechanical throw and cut around it and lifted it up. And this is what I have left. Uh, this is foam in here. A uh, little scenery compound around it. And left with a uh, kind of an oblong hole. Uh, I use uh, Pico turnouts. And there's a small hole over here uh, that the tortoise switch likes to uh, use this little spring wire to come up through to shift that back and forth. Uh, thought about removing all the ballast, lifting the track up sections at a time uh, to do that. First I decided I'm going to try to actually bring that spring wire up through the edge here and put a U-shape in it to hook into the small hole to try to move that back and forth. My Pico switches, I did leave the little snap ring in there, uh, spring clip, and those are pretty easy to come out. Uh, if you have a pair of uh, uh, these little wire cutters here, for small wire, you can grab a hold of that little spring clip and pull it out. So cover the uh, hole up. I cut a piece of eighth inch uh, birch uh, to fit into that hole and when I'm ready I will uh, cu cut the small hole on this side and then start to fill this in. Hopefully we can get that up and over. I've taken my uh, piece of uh, eighth inch birch spacer here uh, and I've cut a slit in that. Uh, in line with the hole and the next thing I did was I took a piece of 
music wire of 32 thousandths and I bent it so it's got a U shape at the top so that we can uh, place that down in there and then that is going to uh, hook into the I'll use a spacer here and we'll see if we can make this work just by hand. I don't have the tortoise switch mounted yet but uh, I will use the spacer to kind of hold it in place while I get the tortoise mounted and then this will just slide in and out here back and forth with the motion of the tortoise so excuse my fingers being in the way but that is the concept. Here's the uh, tortoise switch mounted this is probably the hardest part of the uh, project. Uh, I put the uh, turnout in kind of a neutral position uh, so that the piano wire would, uh, music wire would come straight down and then I had to line the tortoise switch up so it would get trapped underneath that washer and held it in position and put a couple screws in that. So uh, I've got a little test device so we'll go up and we'll test it here. This is my uh, test box that I built to uh, test tortoise switches out. If I go to a train show and looking for uh, used tortoise switches, can get a good buy on them. Want to make sure they work. All this is is a nine volt battery in here, a double pole, double throw switch with a center off position, and wired it up. So I've got two alligator clips here. I can clip to the tortoise switch and the switch will reverse polarity on it and it'll show me if it operates or not. Okay, I've installed the uh, filler piece here. Uh, tried to put some earth tone on it there before I uh, lay down some scenery on it. I uh, wanted to look like a little concrete pad there. Uh, so we will get on with the next step here. Here we have the uh, scenery completed. I'll go in a little bit on the tortoise switch operating. So now all we have is six more to do. Okay, well that's going to conclude uh, this part of the uh, video. Uh, part two, I'm going to take in the uh, electrical side of. Uh, wiring those tortoise switches up and into the control panel and also the building of those little uh, utility electrical boxes. Uh, so we look forward to seeing you again. Have a great day.